So, Gloria, you are supporting the proposed revision. No, no. He's, saying that, he's saying that the, the, the line that says, can the incident within all software platforms create a question mark? Because the platform is not clear on the license. I see. And, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can, can you? I will repeat. Uh, one is saying that, hold on, correct? The, that the sentence where it says that can be implemented within all software platforms is a problem, uh, or he sees a problem because uh, platform is not clear about the license. And I will, I will say that. I don't see the so you have proposed. Yes, right. and, and, and I, I will, yeah. if I can respond. Yeah. I, uh, that is partially intentional in the sense that, as you point out, this is a perfect example of open source and closed source together. And I know that even though there is a desire in the community, or in some in the community, and I will be clear that there are plenty who aren't there, that, that to, to move entirely to an open source world, uh, the reality is many in the, in the disabled community work on Macintosh and also work on Windows. And therefore, they, they have a world that includes both closed and open, and that that platform, so I think it's important to follow up on what you said earlier, your platform does not preclude the use of open source software, that Windows can support open source on top. Assisted open source technology can be on top. So that's why I said platform, and then including free, the promotion of free and open source solutions on platform. So I was trying to capture what he said about Windows can include open source on top, Macintosh can include open source on top. So how do we how do we capture the fact that the community uses multiple platforms with multiple licenses? You, you're correct. There are multiple licenses, multiple platforms, multiple open source licenses. We want to make sure that when governments promote, they look to promote solutions that cover the ubiquity of the community and provide an answer to make the, the disabled community need to have solutions that fall no matter what your platform is. Because so that's why I mixed the two. Thank you. Because of the time, we only have five minutes left. We have many other items. Sorry. What I would like to know is whether there are any strong... Uh, raise your hand, put your hand down, and I'd like to see in hand if you have strong opposition to the um, suggested division. Uh, Please raise uh, your hand if you have strong uh, opposition to the suggested uh, revision. The, the, default, the default should be raise your hand if you want to change the text. If you strongly feel that you want to change the text, not if you want to not change the text. Right? Well, the, I, the I was supposed to find out whether, what, I wanted to find out whether there was strong opposition to it. And if not, um, uh, okay, there is John. Then do you have proposed revision to it? Uh, yes, my revision. My, my Move revision. forward, Fernando. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, I just want to make a correction. The, the proposal here is that governments, when they need to spend public money, that they spend it on open source uh, assistive technology. Now, this assistive technology should work on every platform. So we are not against Windows or Mac or any other proprietary system. We just feel strongly that we've got open source solutions, uh, assistive technology will be too expensive or will not change and evolve fast enough. So uh, I think this is too complex to close the down in 20 seconds, but uh, if, if, uh, if there is no strong agreement, I think we should be the best for this. That's the, that's the default. The default situation is the, the best we have. Well, the chair feels that there is uh, merit to the uh, concerns that in reading this declaration, there would be an abandonment uh, that, that, that the focus is on a single platform. But there is no mention of simple, simple platforms here. There are mentions of assistive technology. And I have no problem if we want to add okay. multiple or all okay. platforms. Uh, Chair, except Fernando's, uh, uh, I think we have. Uh, Cindy, can we get to Pandora and then I would like to. The Pandora, your hand came up? I'm sorry. Uh, can we pass the microphone to the Pandora? Uh, 
if you are considering this uh, change, then I would suggest all to be changed with any, because we, we don't want compulsion on any software being compatible with all platforms. It could be any platform. Can't be compatible with all platforms. That's why this language can be slightly different. Do we have a recommendation of what the language says to look like? So it'd be a minor revision that would say that? Uh, we have uh, a speaker. <coughs>
and that in the promotion that we don't, as, as was said, that we don't only support one platform. So would you accept that as the division? I believe so. I, I, okay. I will admit to being doing some translating while I listen, but I'm, I'm a hun almost 100% sure. Thank that you. That's fine. I'll repeat it again. But because I, I believe so. we have it is in capturing record, and what, I would, uh, what I'd like to do at this point now is, you know, uh, I'm, not, I'm not inviting Fernando to speak. I'm very sorry, Fernando. You and I can talk on the plane back. Uh, uh, what I'd like to do at this time is I believe we have agreement uh, on the declaration and having discussed and reviewed the draft declaration, I would like to declare the declaration is approved. So now, let's clap. We have a concrete action item. It will go in the record of IGF, and this is what we did. Now, we have reached uh, agenda item four. It was a panel discussion on questions that were presented to the workshop, and I would like to our secretariat, Stefano, to tell us about any questions that were submitted, and also would like to invite anyone else present uh, on the real email address to submit your questions, although we really are running out of time. Thank you. Actually, there was only one question that was submitted from uh, NK Senea. I would ask you to read it out because uh, you understand better than you write it. Okay, the question that was submitted to our uh, ITU workshop was this. India has the largest number of disabled in the world. About 850 million, 81.4% 80, people live in rural India, out of which 200 million come from underprivileged uh, castes, untouchables, and travelers. Due to their social position, very low literacy, and no accessibility of internet in rural India, how is the civil society and ITU going to ensure the accessibility and affordability of internet by disabled belonging to extremely poor and suffering past discrimination in rural India? This was, uh, and this question was directed to the speaker, Mr. Malcolm Johnson, ITU. And the question was presented by N.K. Sanar, the national president of the, I'm sorry, Ambulatory Center for Justice and Peace in India. Are you here today? Do we have his contact information? We can respond to him. And Mr. Uh, Malcolm Johnson, you have the mic. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the uh, question. Uh, as I said, I think in my uh, yesterday that um, ITU's mission is to connect the world. I mean, of course, that includes the 10% <coughs> the uh, of the world population that are disabled. And I think then in the discussion was pointed out that, uh, in fact, that percentage is a lot greater than 10% if you take into account uh, people with cognitive uh, disabilities, uh, disadvantaged people, social and economic disadvantaged people. So that um, the percentage could have had to be more like 40% in some countries. And um, this is something that uh, uh, IT is addressing. We are uh, making efforts to, uh, to reach out to disadvantaged people in, in all countries. And uh, we are looking at ways of providing uh, access to the benefits of uh, ICTs at low cost. For example, uh, supporting the establishment of trade centers in many countries so that uh, disadvantaged people, uh, both with disabilities and, and social, social economic disabilities, are uh, able to access uh, the internet and, and ICTs. So uh, we are addressing that, and uh, maybe we can concentrate on the 10% that uh, we're certainly looking at. Thank you for your time for being here today and responding uh, uh, at our meeting. Uh, we have, as I had planned this evening, having been more discussed, that we would also take a look at our action plan items and begin work. But you're invited to join us in our conference meeting, teleconference meeting, as the, we continue our work on the action plan uh, when we return home on our reflection. Now we have reached our final agenda item, feedback from participants on accessibility measures taken at this IGF meeting. As I mentioned earlier, for your information, uh, the Dynamic Coalition submitted a report to IGF 
regarding the accessibility of the last meeting in Rio, and we will do the same for this conference. So the question before you is, what has been the state of accessibility at this conference? Have there been any concerns or things to celebrate? And I'll begin by saying I have something to celebrate. Uh, at Rio last year, when I went into the main session and put on the headset, I could not use the headset because the uh, headphones were hardwired to the listening devices. I could not plug in what I use, which is a neck loop, to enable me to use my hearing aids. So inside the main session hall, I had to plug into my laptop and go and to, uh, with my neck loop and listen to the webcast in the room that it was being uh, spoken so I would know what was being said. Uh, so I'm pleased to announce that the uh, IGF took our recommendation and we were able, I was able to plug in my neck loop at the main session. I'm also pleased to report that with the sponsorship of ISOC, we've had a number of, of workshops that were captioned. I also would like to believe, uh, uh, I'm getting preliminary reports from people that uh, mobility access is a little bit better uh, for this conference than the last one as well. Uh, Shadi, do you have any comments? Uh, yeah, a few things. One to add um, regarding mobility. So, um, well, the general accessibility, when, when WPC organized the first session of accessibility in Athens, the first IGF, it was really horrible. We couldn't even get an accessible room. Uh, at first, and um, and um, at, at the last session in Rio that was organized by Daisy, um, in which WPC also participated. Uh, again, we had um, several issues, uh, including not able to get hotel rooms and so on. Um, so there has been progress at this time. Uh, I would like to thank the hosts on this. Um, but at the same was time, it, was there a way to get from the airport to here? Was that planned? so? Uh, I was just gonna say so there were improvements on the physical accessibility, but logistically there was still a lot of things missing, like accessible transportation, alternative hotels. Accessible like transportation this. could be worked on. Okay. I see Hiroshi has a hand up, and since we don't have uh, other workshop uh, fighting to get in, we'll continue with the important uh, agenda item. Um, and yeah, overall um, estimate of the uh, conference and uh, one accessibility is wonderful. Um, I, I, I'd like to congratulate Indian organizers and also Taiwan. And um, we, but uh, I have some concern, slight concern on the availability of the um, sign language interpreter. Um, if there was no um, uh, request uh, for sign language interpretation, it's okay. Um, but uh, in Rio, um, the Lady Consortium finally uh, sponsored uh, the sign language interpreter for, from uh, Colombia uh, to be uh, traveled to Rio all the way. Uh, with uh, the uh, presenter uh, who is uh, representing the deaf community. And uh, also, the consortium uh, had an opportunity to sponsor the uh, workshop um, um, real life uh, caption services. Uh, but um, this, during this um, um, IDA uh, third meeting, I didn't see, I haven't seen any sign language interpretation. So I hope um, it is not the neglection, but uh, no request. Um, but in the future, uh, at the fourth meeting, um, as we um, set out in our recommendation for guidelines uh, of uh, meeting uh, participation, um, sign language interpretation, if it is required, should be um, as a thing. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Roger. Are there any other comments from participants in the audience about concerns or issues about accessibility for this conference here? Well, we have reached the uh, end of our agenda. I want to thank you all very much for coming.
Thank you very much, Mr. I just wanted to remind uh, uh, the people that in the room that uh, uh, the Islamic Coalition is open for a uh, for, uh, joint partnership. It's free. And uh, uh, to, for example, accept the request for it's enough to send an email to the Secretariat, which is uh, myself, for the and uh, uh, email to, if you should send an email, it's DCAD Secretariat at iq.in so it's on the paper agenda that you took here uh, it's on the screen now you find it on the web page of uh, this uh, event uh, it should be quite easy to find it in the address and then uh, i will uh, include you in the, in the email list and if your organization wants to join it will be listed in the web page as uh, uh, all the other partners of the Arabic coalition and Stefano, the declaration as amended and revised today, when might it be posted on our website? I would say next week. Next, next week sometime. Yeah, Thank next you. week sometime. We will check it again among uh, with Cynthia so that uh, everything is included properly as uh, it was discussed. And then we will uh, we'll post it on the web uh, in a revision version. We have uh, already this version posted on the web page. We're going to be the actual one. So we will issue a revised version that will be our agreed version today. Uh, okay, so I would like also to thank ISO for the captioning. I don't know if we, if we did at the opening, sorry. But uh, ISO in a timely response to the captioning today that was very useful and finally working. So <laughs> I'm quite happy and thanks to the guys and the team team that did a very, very good job today. Thank you very much. And thank you, Cynthia. If I can say also to have a Andrea, I'm sure she would like to thank you very much for having run this meeting so so good. So thank you. Thank you. And so the meeting is concluded. Thank you very much for coming.